Hi, my name is Kim Gruy. I will be your facilitator for this OER Part 2 Implementing Open Educational Resources Workshop offered by the Online Learning Consortium, the OLC. I'm very happy to be here and I look forward to working with you this week. I thought the best thing to do to get started though was to take you through a bit of a screen share and to run you through the workshop a bit because I want to make sure that you understand the intention of the workshop. First of all, if you go to the workshop schedule and you will see the schedule at a glance, one of the things that some of you may be noticing is that, oh, there's something due every day. And immediately you might say, well, then I need to withdraw from the workshop. But please wait. Um, I wanted to point out that in general, what this workshop is intended to do is to take you through the implementation process. The assumption is you have basic skills for, as an individual, being able to find some OER, maybe adopt, adapt it, or license it and to use it as an individual. Part two is about looking, um, having a bigger vision and looking to expand your OER offerings, either let's say a sequence of courses in a program, maybe as you'll see, uh, it's the freshman sequence because these are high enrollment, high impact courses. Um, but you're going to try to implement a plan that goes beyond a single course that maybe goes to a sequence of courses, a program, uh, or a certificate or something like this. In order to do that, <clears throat> we've structured the workshop so that you do a little work each day on the implementation plan. These discussion postings that you see are intended to get you thinking and working on your implementation plan. There are three discussion boards and to try to balance things out and pace things well, we offer you to make your initial post on one day and then reply to your classmates by the next day. There's definitely some wiggle room in the pacing there, but the idea is about every couple of days to have a new post and a new section that you're dealing with in your implementation plan that people can look at and respond to and provide feedback to. In general, you're building one implementation plan with some sections laid out for you that you decide how you want to, to lay it out. And as you go through the workshop and read the resources and look at the videos, you'll also be in the discussion boards with your classmates talking about your implementation plans. And by the time the workshop is over at the end, the idea is that you will have had some feedback and some chance to think about and reflect upon and to polish an idea for an implementation plan at your college or university or institution. So on day one, you, you post your intro and it also asks you about your goals for the workshop and your motivation. You don't really have to reply to each other until the next day, but if there are other people in there and you wanna just do that, you can do that then. So be um, flexible in your uh, approach, but also be mindful that the reason it is structured this way is so that we can all sort of like not procrastinate last night and get the implementation done, and then also get feedback and have time for reflection along the way. So if you can kind of balance your needs as an individual and a professional with so many work obligations, to try to balance that with your personal schedule with the needs of this workshop, which is to have a little bit of interaction. That is the reason that this workshop has been revised was to encourage uh, participants to interact with each other a little bit more along the way before submitting that final implementation plan at the end. I also wanted to take you through the workshop um, content and activities. The way that the workshop is set up is that you'll see you have these tabs at the top that take you through uh, the week. And as we talked about, the first uh, part of the course is sort of reorienting yourself to OER, thinking about why you're in this workshop, what you hope to get out of the workshop, what your goals and your motivations are, and what experience with OER is. The reason I pull up page one is I also want to pull up the draft imp implementation plan template. It's in a Google form. Now, I don't mean to be remedial. If you're totally familiar and comfortable with collaborative Google forms and documents, that's great. And then you can just um, fast forward through this next 30 seconds. But if you're new, um, try, please, 
to not be intimidated uh, by the idea. Uh, everything that you need is provided in the workshop. So here's the idea. This draft open educational resources implementation plan, if you click on that, it actually takes you to a Google document. Um, and what you'll need to do is to copy of that if you want to stay working in Google. The other thing you can do is just download this to a Word doc and then work out of it during the week. The way you do those things, you either are going to make a copy and it gives you a way to rename it. So I, I might just rename mine GRUI Draft OER Implementation Plan. I have the option to keep it in my drive, that sort of thing, and just click OK. And if you don't use Google Not a lot and you don't know where the copy is you made, just bookmark just bookmark the, um, the link and you can go back there anytime. And then that's the link you might use to even submit at the end. And I'll just click in there and look. The other thing is, is if you want someone to collaborate within the document and not just give you feedback in the discussion board, if you share this link and you work in this area, then anybody you share the link with can also write to you in the area. They can insert comments like this. You know, great idea. Um, they can also write within the body of the text, you know, they can choose a different color font and work with you to help you through something, which is what I do. So that's the Google Doc. If you don't want to use that Google Doc, that's really okay. Just go ahead and download yourself a copy in Word. Uh, it'll make a copy of this document. And then you can just work on that document and make sure you save as you go and turn that in at the end. Same, same document. So I, I hope that uh, this overview uh, as, assuages some of your concerns perhaps about the, the intensity of the workshop. It really is in, intended and designed with working professionals in mind. We want you to get a lot out of the workshop and we want you to leave the workshop with a great document and a planning document you can use to move forward with OER implementation, but we don't wanna overburden you or stress you out with uh, a lot of extras. So I hope during the course of the week, we can interact in the discussion area. We can interact in the Google Doc. Uh, we can interact via the help form in the course. There is a help form uh, in the workshop. Uh, just to remind you, that's, um, you usually can access that from the welcome page. Um, you'll see the news in the help form and the water cooler form is just for hanging out and talking. But if you have questions about the overall workshop, you can use the help forum. Uh, when I have news to share, I'll put it in the news forum. And on the first page, facilitator's corner right here, that's where I'll have the latest video I made or the latest sort of announcement, um, just checking in with you during the, um, try to pace yourself during the course of the week. Please don't get upset or stressed if you get behind. Communicate with me and we can, um, set up alternative um, deadlines and things like that if needed. But our goal is to finish this workshop within the week. And, um, and within two or three days after the workshop ends, I like to have all the work um, evaluated and turned into you, uh, turned back to you. So, so I hope this gives you a good overview. I, uh, I very much look forward to working with you this week. And um, here we go.